Welcome back to this episode of the program Watch Therefore. I have some very relevant, very exciting biblical terms to share with you that are more important for every disciple of Messiah Jesus to know and understand and be excited about today more than ever. These biblical terms explain our salvation and redemption in Messiah Jesus. Were I to title this teaching, I'd call it the Watch Therefore Message in Our Salvation and Redemption. The first one, justified. Justified. The best simple but profound definition of the word justified is declared righteous by our Heavenly Father. Declared righteous. We see it in Romans chapter 3 amongst many places in the New Testament scriptures. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Sanctified, justified, sanctified. I'll share a good working definition of that in just a moment. But first, I want to read to you from 1 Corinthians as Paul is writing the church in Corinth about how to walk out their faith in our Savior Jesus, having been justified, having been declared righteous in Messiah Jesus. He says, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Those who are justified are also sanctified. They're set apart for kingdom purposes. Yes? How so? Well, they're set apart by the Holy Spirit. And when I say how so, how do they live out those kingdom purposes? Well, grace operates through the sanctification process. Justification, being justified, is a one-time event where we are declared righteous having received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Sanctification is a process. Grace working through the sanctification process to change us into the image of our Savior Jesus on the grace journey, on the narrow road that leads to life. Yes, we're set apart for kingdom purposes through the sanctification process. The third one, glorified. Those who are justified will be glorified. Oh, hallelujah. Look with me at Romans chapter 8 in the New Testament. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. Oh, hallelujah. This is when we receive our sinless, eternal bodies. No more sorrow. No more suffering, no more temptation to sin, no more disease, no more death. Someone say, hallelujah. This is where we receive our glorified bodies. Now, it can rightly be said that justification, sanctification, glorification represent a three-step process in our salvation, in our redemption. See, salvation is that we're saved from the wrath of God for our sins and given eternal life because we've received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Redemption is that we've been bought back by the blood of the Lamb, our Savior Jesus, from the slave market of sin, yes, from the slave master and his control over us, that serpent, the devil, And that power was given to him to have us in bondage under that slavery in the Garden of Eden with the sin of Adam and Eve. Yes? So stay with me. Are you ready? I have been saved. Justification. I've been justified. I am being saved. Sanctification. Oh, hallelujah. I will be saved, given a glorified body, 
at the rapture when our Savior Jesus comes for us. Yes, I have been redeemed. I am being redeemed. I will be redeemed when King Jesus comes for me. You know, we can say when King Jesus comes for us, but make it personal. When King Jesus comes for me. Hallelujah. Look at Romans chapter 13 and look at how the Apostle Paul calls the event of the rapture when our Savior Jesus comes for us in the clouds to take us back to that place he's been preparing for us. Look at how Paul calls that event our salvation. Yes, and do this speaking of showing one another the love of Christ. Yes, and do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. I have been saved. I'm being saved. Oh, hallelujah, I will be saved when King Jesus comes for us, me, in the rapture. I've been redeemed. I am being redeemed. I will be redeemed when Messiah Jesus comes for me in the rapture. In Luke chapter 21, our Savior Jesus is speaking about the signs of his coming, many of which are leaping off the pages right now in front of us. The center of those is Israel in Bible prophecy. When you're watching the news these days and seeing all that's going on with Israel, including the war in Gaza, these things are in the scriptures that speak of the coming of the Lord. Luke chapter 21. Now, when these things begin to happen, look up. Oh, hallelujah, I'll say it again. Now, when these things begin to happen, <laughs> hallelujah, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. You see, the rapture, when the Lord descends for us in the clouds, catches us up, he gives us glorified bodies, and he takes us back to that place he's been preparing for us is called our salvation, our redemption. It's the final step of our salvation, being glorified, having been justified, sanctified, glorified. It's the final step of our salvation, of our redemption, yes? And, and here is something to be aware of. Here's a warning. Please listen very carefully. In this dead, sleepy, modern church environment, we're taught very intentionally and aggressively to not watch for the rapture by those who openly oppose it. I'll say that again. In this dead, sleepy, modern church environment, we are taught very intentionally by some to not watch for the rapture by those who openly oppose it, or we're taught by omission that the rapture is unimportant and not to watch for our Savior by those who just don't teach it because they don't feel like it's important. How, what foolishness, yes? We are to be comforted by the rapture. Our hope is looking for the rapture, and we're to be yearning with great expectation, anticipation for the rapture. Wow, that sounds like a whole other program. Lord willing, it will be very soon, amen? Here's two passages of Scripture I'm going to close our program with today. First Thessalonians Chapter 4 says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and the trumpet of God. The dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we always be with the Lord. Folks, now more than ever, it's so important to obey our Savior's command, where in Matthew 24, he's explained the signs that are leaping off the pages of the Bible at us right now. He says, watch therefore. You don't know the hour of the day. Your Lord is coming. And he commands us to be ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you know that you've been forgiven for your sins? Do you know you've been justified, declared righteous because you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And he's put his Holy Spirit in you and he's sanctifying you. He set you apart. You know that for his kingdom purposes. And he's working through your life to change you into his image. Get real with the Lord today. And if you need to, get right with Him day, today. How? Repent of your sins. He said you have to repent and believe in the gospel, that He died on the cross to pay for your sins, the sinless Savior. He was buried on the third day. He rose from the grave. Turn away from your sins. Turn away from your old life and receive Him. Cry out to Him now, Lord Jesus, save me. 
I want to be declared righteous. I want to be justified. Set me apart for your glory and for your plans and purposes. And I'll be looking for you for that final step of my salvation, my redemption when you come for me. And if you're doing that, there's information on your screen right now. We'd like to send you a free brochure called How to Begin My New Life in Christ. Yes, first steps for those who enter in to this salvation and this faith journey in Messiah Jesus who are given eternal life. Oh, hallelujah. Will you contact us so we can get that to you right away? For everyone who's watching today, it's so important for you to get right with the Lord and go forward from here, set apart for his glory and watching for him to come. Yes. Oh, Father in heaven, thank you for this dynamic, special, powerful time you've given us together because you're so good and you love us. And please bless every viewer today. Thank you that your grace meets us where we are, but your grace never leaves us there. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for our salvation, our redemption. Thank you, Holy Father, for being our Abba Father. In Messiah Jesus' name, thank you and amen. Wow, folks, uh, I, I really had a burden for this entire program to start off to the Jew first uh, with um, our Blessing Israeli Believers uh, partner and then this rapture teaching, this watch therefore teaching. Remember to watch therefore and be ready. King Jesus is coming for us any moment.